<clears throat> yeah, today Friday is yeah. the last day of my, the class. My body knows. <laughs> oh, really? You, yeah. Your body knows. Your body knows yeah. that, uh, <laughs> that, that tomorrow is free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, tomorrow's not free. Tomorrow is off. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow if off, is off. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Teacher. All yeah. right. Cool. How are you? How is everybody today? I'm doing great. <clears throat> everything good? Everything normal? Yeah. Today is Friday. My body everything knows. Good. Everything is <laughs> right. What? Okay. <laughs> Patricia, is that... Um, you you do you have your uniform from the social security or your clinic yes this is a uniform Nacer con cariño. Wow. <laughs> oh nice oh she look very looks nice. comfortable uh, <laughs> yes um i don't have any time to change my clothes no oh. that, that, that's good uh what is your specialty are you a pediatrician i am gynecology Gynecologist. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. Hey, welcome, Rafael Daboud. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Javier. Hello. Alberto. Hello. Good evening. Javier, alias. Hello. Beto. Hello. <laughs> Do you know how to say hello. alias in English? Alias, aka. 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 Uh, Do you know why it's AKA? Usually AKA. I don't know. Usually it's, I heard uh, hip hop music. They use that word. Yes. Um, AKA means also known as. Oh, uh, Nobody known. Uh, in no. Spanish, it's, it's uh, conocido como. También known conocido by. como. También conocido conocido como. como. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's yeah. also known, known as. By. Known as. Wow. It's not known by. Also as. No. no, no, no. I mean, known by. Yeah, but AKA means that. The abbreviation. Ah, really. Also known as. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that, that's great. I, I like watching the um, Facebook news when they capture a pandillero, a gangster. Because it's like it says, uh, Roberto Benitez, alias, the alias are so funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> alias, it's coffee. No, uh, eh, no, había uno, eh, excuse me, pero eso sí, bola de caca. Remember that one? <laughs> oh my God. Do you remember that one? No. no. Ese se lo right. acabaron. No, they made memes, <laughs> memes about him. They caught two. <laughs> Bola de caca. That was his AKA. Or there was one that um, doctor. What is that when your 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 skull, the cranio is it's not it's deformed. Ah, uh, 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 I saw this, that that news. Si le dicen el apo. El <laughs> apo. <laughs> Yeah, that, that one. So funny. It, it he was looks like, he, like a, a a nickname. He looks like the Apple iPhone, like the, his head. Yeah. Great imagination. <laughs> yes, that that's why you know, as Captain and no sé quién alias el Apple. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> man, that's that's so cool. The security, the security in in my neighborhood. So do that. He only has one ear, only one ear. I don't know what happened to the second. I don't know. So I remember the first day. Hi, what is your name? Oh, Antonio. Hi. Pero me dicen taza. No. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 no problem. Toda mi vida me dicho taza. Oh my God. No, but I, I can't, I can't call him taza. I always call him Antonio. No, <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. 
no that, that's why i like i like reading i like reading the um the aka's yes all right welcome everybody thank you for being here on a friday uh miguel antonio cordes where do you work i work in a cyber cafe <clears throat> oh yes i'm sorry i forgot the reason why i'm asking is because i see behind you you have many ties oh because uh, i use thai when i go to the, the church and oh, okay. oh and okay. i was a missionary in costa rica uh for five years ago oh really you oh, yes. okay oh I, I now i understand this uh how many knots can you make sorry how many knots a uh, only one only one yeah the basic the third uh, i don't know how to say tres vueltas uh, three turns it turns uh, you can do the turns. one here then the one here then the one here and the one yeah yeah oh. the, mm. this type <laughs> Yes, oh, okay. Wendy, hi, Wendy. How are you? Welcome. Fine, thank you. Hi. Uh, all right. Sandra Araceli, welcome. <clears throat> welcome to the class. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Who else is here? Let me see. Well, Yanet, Yanira. Hello, teacher. teacher. How are you? <clears throat> you can hear me, teacher? <clears throat> yes, Sandra, I can hear you. Very oh, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> lastly, lastly. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. All right, let me see. Let's finish this so we can do some activities. Oh, yes. I am I am using my my cell phone. That's why I cannot uh, show my face. Oh, no problem. But your cell phone has a very good microphone. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Let me see. So we did the listening exercise yesterday. Now, let me share my screen yes. with you. Do you see my screen? It says, in this class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior and personality. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. yes I do, teacher. Yes, teacher. All yeah. right. We do understand what is an adjective, correct? Yeah. yeah. What is an adjective? Adjectives uh, describe a, a, a noun. All right, good. And what is an adverb? Adverb uh, are described a noun, adjectives, and nouns. I think. No, no, verbs, no. Sorry, verbs. No adverbs. No. Describe verbs, noun, and adjective. Okay, good. So, so you're giving me the grammatical explanation. So, what is the difference between? Okay, so give me a difference. What is the the difference between slow <laughs> and slowly? Yes. One is a, descri a describe and the other is a action, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, um, adjective is before the noun. Okay, let's do one uh, thing. Don't, don't give me don't give me the grammatical explanation because. Okay. Because sometimes it's easy to get the grammatical explanation because everybody said, oh, an adjective describes a noun, and then, and then, and then. but no one, no one's giving me the difference between slow and slowly. For example, uh, the turtle walks slow or walks slowly? The turtle walks slowly. Yeah. Why? The turtle walks slowly 
Okay, why? Because slowly is not describing the turtle, it's describing the walk. The movement. Walk. The yes. action. It's describing okay. the action of, of, of the subject, of the, ver yeah. of, of the turtle. Very good. So if I want to say slow, I say, hey, the turtle is slow. Mm -hmm. Or the turtle walks slowly. So para que sepan, siempre que oigan algo terminar en li, it's an adverb. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> So let's listen to uh, adjectives discussing behavior and personality. Hmm, let's see this. We're about to cite some hear? adjectives which will help you talk about yep. behavior yes, and personality. Yes. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree. Conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens, in your 20s? How do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. In your teens? Okay, listen to this. When I was 20, I was very, in my 20s, surprisingly in my 20s, I was very- Very young. <laughs> yes, I was very, no, yeah, but young, I was very stupid. Yeah. No, but you know, I mean, I can't, I can't think of another adjective because I did everything possibly bad. <laughs> and I am alive. No, um, no, you know, I, I, I did many, many stupid things, you know, like party too much, go out with my friends. The next day, oh, my head, I don't want to go to work. I didn't go to work. I changed jobs. I, I was not, very, I was not responsible, nothing. Carefree. I, yes, I was carefree. But no, you know, carefree, I was muy suave, man. I was. <laughs> yes, I was very. But you know, I mean, ugh. things I will never do, of course, now I don't do. And I will teach my son not to do. <laughs> it's you know? nice. Yes, you know, and I, and I will explain to my son what I did so he doesn't do. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're young, many people, you're, people tell you, don't do that, don't do that. But they never tell you why. And, and um, yep. I lived alone. That's the problem. I didn't have a mother or father. I lived alone. So, yeah. So I did mm -hmm. many stupid things so if, when I was in my 20s. But now, do you, excuse me? Do you regret all the things that you did? Yes. Well, yes and no. Yes and no because um now Maybe I, you learned something I learned I learned a lot from that no. and now I have friends my age doing that and you see them yes you know now and that they're cool. married and they're old and now they're going back to that and yeah so now you say this will be me it's funny because my wife all her friends tell her, oh, my God, your husband is la maximo. He cooks, he cleans, he never goes out because I don't. Wow, y el mío, he only wants to be partying. In this. No, you know, but I tell them the problem is because I did all that when I was young. Yeah. So in my 20s, I did that. And then... um. You know how sometimes, especially women, they don't like to say the age? Well, let me give an example. 
uh, Jacqueline, how old is Naive Bukele? Oh, teacher, I don't know. I how old think, do you think? Uh, I think he is 37 years old. Okay, 37, good. Thank you for the example. Good, okay. I don't know either. But in a situation like this in Spanish, we say, I don't know, maybe 37. We always give an exact number. In English, we don't. We say early, mid, late. For example, how old are you, Jacqueline? I'm 24 years old, teacher. So listen. She is in her mid-twenties. Yes, Jacqueline. How old is Jacqueline? I don't know. Maybe, maybe her mid-twenties. So what is early 20s? 20, 21, 22, 23. What is mid? 24, 25, 26. Late, 27, 28, 29. Yes. So in this case, in Spanish, that's how we say it normally. In English, you don't say that. I don't know, 38. We say, I don't know, maybe his late 30s. Yes. So I can say me in my early 20s. No, I think in my complete 20s, I did many stupid things that I regret and I don't, but I did fun things too. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me see. How are you, ah, Miguel Antonio? How are you in your 20s? What I, am you... in, I am in my, in my 20s. Yeah, oh, you um, are. Yeah, I are, I am. <laughs> how are you, how were you? Listen to this, I'm not saying how are you. I'm saying how, were you in your twin in your teens? Oh well, really? I am very quiet people. I I don't like it. Go to the parties or or any type of this. Okay. I only study and pass time with my family. Oh, okay, very good. Have you been a Mormon all your life? Sorry, you are a Mormon, correct? Yeah, I am Mormon. All your life? All my life, yeah. Oh, okay, that explains. Okay, good. Good for you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, yes, you, you have to be good, yes. Mm -hmm. In my teens, I was bad, too. <laughs> All right, let really? me see. <laughs> what you, uh, what you doing in your teens? When you are at need. No, I mean, I wasn't bad, but I did many things, you know, like I had long hair. I never did <laughs> drugs. I never did drugs or gangs, though. That's good. Okay. But, you know, I had like purple hair, green hair, red hair. I painted oh my, my God. Hair. Rebellious person. Oh, yeah. Tattoo? Person. oh, yeah, I have tattoos. All right. Oh, but I have like agnostic tattoos. Um, I painted my nails. I put makeup. Mm -hmm. But now I'm normal. <laughs> yes. Let me see. Beto. It's hard to it's hard to call you Beto. Yeah. Or, because I see Javier Martinez, but okay, Beto, how old are you? Um I am 34 years old. All right. Do you remember your 20s? What did um, you do? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in my 20s, but no, I said, do you remember your 20s? Ah, yeah, uh, no, my 20s, uh, I was a shy boy when I was younger than I am because I'm not older. Okay, you were shy in your 20s. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. But um, I have a, a lot of friends that uh, love to have parties and everything. Uh, I'm 34, I'm 34 years old, but I think I'm a little bit older. Uh, but I had a, a lot of fun. I play basketball. I like to 
play football and I think I'm I'm in the point of my life that I can say I enjoy my twenties. Very good. When 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 you can say that, you're good. So you like soccer. Who is your favorite team? Um, I love soccer, but I don't have a, a favorite team. I can say Real Madrid is a good team. I can say Barcelona is a good team. Uh, I'm not a fanatic person. Oh, okay. I just love football. Good. How do you say fancista in, in English? Fan is in English, I think. A fan. But fancista is, say when you not not have a, a specific uh, favorite team. You are Ex a, excuse a, my ignorance. What is a fancista? I, I never heard that. Really, en, I never en, es, en español eh, le llaman fancista cuando no sos fanático de un equipo, sino que vas con el que gane. Entonces es una expresión así como soy fanático del deporte, pero no de un equipo. Entonces no sé si en inglés existe una palabra así o. To be honest, I don't know. You just say I'm a, I'm just a soccer fan. I love soccer, but mm -hmm. not as. And then you give an explanation but not in a specific team. Okay. Okay. Rafael, how were you before you were married? Were you a good boy, bad boy? <laughs> I'm fine. Really, um, I, I, I got married when I was 21 years old. And I need to to be responsible responsible oh that's good i needed to be responsible i need it yes yes you yes. got married very young how oh, good for you really yes when i was 20 i i was easy going and, and fo foolish but i think if you're not wrong you can improve Yes. You need something in life that will wake you up. Boom. Yes. Some people it takes one opportunity. Some people takes 20 opportunities. But you eventually you, it happens. Yes. All right. But you know what, class? Yes or no? Before, back then, it was, I don't know, El Salvador was nice. I mean, there wasn't so many deportados i think <laughs> you know so wow well, now now it's going normal again but now everybody has a gun or everybody is uh in gangs or something okay let's send objective it says by the end of this class participants will learn understand and practice expressing regrets and hypothetical situations, use should have and past participle. Okay, before we, we use should, what is should? Should. It's a moral verb. verb. Deber. Deber ser. Debería. It's sure. Debería. Yes. Yeah. Probability. Uh, possibility. It's for a possibility. Yeah. It's yeah. advice. Exactly, it's advice. Um, Sandra, there's a big difference between deberías y debes. Should. Sí. Yeah, and I, I will explain that real quick. If we finish this today, I will explain to you the difference of the pro of the um, of these type of words. Okay, should have. So it's a hypothetical situation. This never happened. Yes. So for example, remember I told you I, I did many stupid things in my 20s. I should have listened to the advice people gave me. I should have listened. That means I didn't. It's a hypothetical situation. Let's see the video. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. 
expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that we use should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. We want to express regrets. We need to follow. Okay, let's start with regrets first. All right. So I should have past participle. Let me see. Um, Joaquin, what is something you regret in the past? Please, do, it doesn't have to be something dramatical. It can be like, oh man, I should have bought the car and I didn't. I had a big opportunity, I should have bought it. Can you tell me, Joaquin, a regret in the past? Mm. I don't understand your ask to read your question. Tell me about a past regret you have. For example, for example, I have I have I should should have should have a uh, study to start a study um, before before 20s. I don't understand. You're giving me two verbs, start or study. I, I What what do you start, want to tell me? Start and pasado. Okay, I should have started to study before 20s. Yes. So you, you didn't study. Yes. <clears throat> but you're an accountant. No. <laughs> if for no, example. I understand. If for oh, example. <laughs> no, no, but give me like a realistic example, you know, because yeah. I don't understand if you understand. <sighs> or you can say this, I should have start I should have studied English in my 20s. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. yes. Yes, no. Okay. Wendy, give me give me an example, please. I should have eaten a lot last night. It ate a lot last night. Eaten. Eaten. Why? What happened? I didn't sleep very I didn't sleep. Very well. Okay. I, hey, good yeah. example. She didn't sleep very well. She should she shouldn't have eaten very much. All right, nice. Um okay. Daniel, give me an example, sir. 
That looks Dave. like Dave Navarro. Dave. I mean, if I had learned English, I could have been English teacher nowadays. Excuse me, what? Can you repeat? If I had learned in English, I could have been English, been English teacher nowadays. Okay. Example. If, if I had learned English. Okay, learned. Very good. All right. All right. Good. 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 Uh, Mayra Lisette, the Paz, Raimundo, are you there? Sandra Araceli, give me an example. I'm here, teacher. Okay, give me the example, I, please. Uh, could you repeat the question, please? It's what we're doing right now. We are, every what Joaquin did, what Daniel did, what I did. Tell me a past regret. Um, well, I don't know. Ah, uh -huh, Mayra, you're not paying attention. <laughs> this is why Insa Forb gets angry. <laughs> no, <laughs> Yeah, because you see, this is what Insa Forb says. We don't know if you're really paying attention to the class or not, Mayra. So a past regret, what we're doing. Do you understand what we're doing? Um, what is a past regret? Okay, you see, Mayra, this is... For the past 10 minutes, the video, it's on the screen. Were you paying attention in class? Yes, I want to. Okay, I past regret. I should have. Okay, don't worry, I'll come back to you. Let me see who has, who haven't I asked today? Patricia, I haven't heard you speak very much today. I only saw your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my uniform. Uh, my, well, I should have gotten married when I was younger. Gotten married. Got married. Gotten. Ah, gotten. <clears throat> okay, thank you. I should have gotten married when I was younger. Uh, did, when did you get married? What? Please. When did you get married? Um, when I got married, I, I, um, I was 33. 33, oh, that's good. Yes. That's, a, that, that's the new normal today. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, well, today, people get married at 35, and they have children between 35 and 40. Yes, but I think that I, I haven't got uh, pregnant because I... You waited too long. I, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, class, listen. So, I should have, and you can also say negative, I shouldn't have. I mean, there's also a past regret with um, with I shouldn't have. For example, I shouldn't have smoked so much when I was young. Okay, man. Teacher. Yes, Sandra. Excuse me. Um, may I may I give you my example? Yes, please. I'm sorry. I should have lived in the USA to have a better future, but I never was brave enough to live in Salvador. Okay, good. All right. But are you happy now? Um, yes, I am. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy. Important. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Yes. All right. Yeah. Now, um, Rafael Dabud, can you give me an example by using I shouldn't have? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Let me see. I shouldn't have wasted my time. Let me give you an example. I, Remember? I yes, I shouldn't have. 
uh, buy a Bitcoin. But a Bitcoin. You shouldn't have bought Bitcoin. Yes. Okay, very good. Hey, I should have bought Bitcoin. I remember, I remember maybe 10 years ago, I took a taxi, Pirata, but it was a very nice car. And I remember the driver, this was like 10 years ago, maybe, yeah, maybe, or maybe less. And the driver, he had a very nice car. Hey, this is a nice car. It's, he told me, oh, yes, I worked in a bank for many years and um, I quit. Or he had a problem. And with the money he received from the bank, he bought a car. And he told me, and the rest, I invested in Bitcoin. Well, really? How is that Bitcoin? Yeah, I've heard of that, but I, you know. Oh, yeah. And he started explaining to me. In that time, Bitcoin cost like $28, one Bitcoin. And I was thinking, my stupid, you know, like he 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 invested his money in bitcoins. Now Bitcoin is what twenty thousand dollars one Bitcoin. Yeah, something like that. It goes yeah. up and down, yes. But imagine, <laughs> so but he he looked like he was a smart man. Imagine how much Bitcoin he had now. Maybe now he is a millionaire. And I said, yeah. mm, I should have listened to him. Very good. Or I shouldn't have listened to him. Yes. Okay. Uh, Wendy, can you give me an example, please? Using shouldn't. I shouldn't. Um, I shouldn't have bought a machine that I never use. Very good. All right, now let's use a hypothetical situation. So this situation never happened, correct? It's hypothetical, hypothetical it, situation. Or, it's a hypothetical or situation, yes. So, um, let me give you, this is a funny story. The day I got married, my family was staying, my family came. I have family that came and they were staying in a lot. Continental Hotel. No, no. What is the one by La Torre Futura? The hotel? Uh, Today is Crown Plaza. Crown Plaza. Crown, Crown Plaza. Plaza. My family was staying there. And I didn't know that that day was the Teleton. So I went to visit my family in the morning and I saw many people and I tell, oh, la, la teleton, you know. oh, okay. And then the elevator opens and Maribel Guardia was coming out. Only her. Wow. She, like in the morning, she was very, <clears throat> she, I mean, she's very elegant, yes. And I said, hi. Are you Maribel Guardia? And she, Hi. She was very, very nice. And I was with my brother, can we take a picture? Oh, yes. Hi. Thank you, Liz. And I remember I told her, I get married today. And she says, oh, good for you. Pero si usted me dice que no, no lo hago. <laughs> and she laughed. She laughed and she says, no, 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 please get married, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I always tell my wife, sometimes when we're watching TV and I see Maribel Guardia, I go, mira, agradecela a ella porque por ella estamos casados. <laughs> <laughs> so if she had said no, I wouldn't have gotten married. <laughs> Example. Yeah. I tell my wife, hey, if she had said no, I wouldn't have married you. So you're a very lucky woman. <laughs> yes, she is very small. Yeah, okay. she's short. She's very short. Um, so that was a hypothetical situation. It was a real story. I did see her in the in the elevator, but 
the hypothetical, it would have been if she would have said, no, no, don't marry it. Okay. Then I'll marry you. <laughs> All right. So hypothetical situation. Yes. Can you give me a, we <laughs> always, we always give hypothetical situations, maybe in, in politics, in sports. Después de un partido, es que mira, si no hubiera jugado, si hubiera jugado, if he would have, those are hypothetical situations, right? Yeah. Okay, so can you give me a hypothetical situation, Amilcar? Or maybe you tell me, if, if you think it's easier, tell me a story. Like, like the story I told you. The day I got married, you know, I saw Marido de Guardia and this and this. So if she had said no, then I wouldn't have married my wife. Okay, so. Okay. Um, a story or Malay? I don't know. Tell me a story, but give me the hypothetical situation. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I have a sentence here. Uh, I shouldn't stop studying to, to follow uh, no, learning. We're in hypothetical situations. We use if I had. Ah. If ah. she had, if we, if he had. If I have learning English, I, I'd go to a better job. Okay. Do you, do you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I see. So. Yes, okay. Si se da cuenta, dice, if I had, no, if I have. Oh, the okay. verb, it's, 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 the it's, verb it's, it's is a past participle. You're telling me if I have studying. So look at the example. Tell me. Okay. In this case will be if I if I learned English. Okay, look, if I had learned English, okay. If I had learned English, I I I will get a, a, a better job. I would have gotten a better job. I, I would have gotten a better job. Yes, thank you. Is it raining? <laughs> I would have gotten a better job. Very good. Or I I would uh I got a better salary. A better salary. Okay. Okay. Very good. Who can give me an example? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. go ahead, Walter. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm study. Uh, I'm study business administration in a university. But if I have studied uh, accounting, I will have had a better job. Very good. Yeah. All right, very good. Who can give me another example? May, may I teach you? Please, go ahead. Okay, if I have studied French. If I, I had. Have, if I have, yes, that's what no, I said. If I'm I have. Okay, I'm sorry, I heard have. Now <laughs> I hear no, no, no. If I have studied French. I would have won a scholarship to study in a in a French French university. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Who can give me another example? Me teacher. Me teacher. Uh, who said for go ahead, Joaquin? Okay. If I if I had broke broken broke in with my girlfriend, <laughs> I will be happy. <laughs> wow right what so you're not happy I, I don't understand can you tell me the difference okay if i have a brook with my excuse me if i have or if, if i, I have, have if i have brook broken up broken up okay with my girlfriend i could be happy I would be happy. I will be happy. Okay, very good. So I imagine in this situation, you did not break up with your girlfriend. <laughs> Correct? 
Yes. You are still with your girlfriend and you are not happy. You're describing a hypothetical situation. No, 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 I understand. I, I just want to know. I just want to see if I understand what you're trying to tell me. Yes. So, so in this moment, excuse me. So in this moment, imagine, right? Yes. You are with your girlfriend and you're not happy, hypothetically speaking, correct? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, and yes, it's correct. <laughs> uh, Janet, give me an example, please. Okay, um, if, I, if I hadn't started working in such a restrictive office, I would have started college much earlier. Very good. If I hadn't been so bad with money when I was younger, I would have very, very good credit today. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Welcome, Decom. <laughs> no, I, 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 you know what? I was, I was in Decom, but not because of me, because <laughs> I was a co-signer. We oh. um, co-signer. Happened. Yeah. Yeah. Co-signer. What is the Co meaning? Deudor. Sorry. Eso es. Fiador, co-deudor. Yeah. Co-signer. Yes. Co -signer. Uh, Daniel, go ahead, please. Okay. Um, if B, uh, Gerard BK hadn't failed so much, maybe Barcelona, Barcelona would have won. Would have won, yes. Very good example. <laughs> <laughs> if if BK hadn't played that day, for Barcelona. <laughs> yes. If BK hadn't played that day, maybe Barcelona would have won. All right, very good. All right, so those are hypothetical situations. What is your score in the play? <laughs> honestly, honestly, I am a Barcelona fan, but really, I think in this moment, um, really, I think Barcelona has a better team than Madrid. Yeah. They are more complete in this moment. But, but you know, Madrid always pays. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, read each, okay, knowledge check. Let's do the knowledge check. Read each <laughs> statement. Rearrange the regret or hypothetical situation given in order to complete the information. No period is necessary, but remember the capital letters. So number one, if I've listened to my parents blank, I pragmatic with more may have. Mm -hmm, may have. I will have. I would have, have made, made more, made more pragmatic, decisions, pragmatic Excellent. decision. Excellent. Let's see. Yes, I would have made more pragmatic decisions. Yes. Good. Let me see. Number two, if I've been more active, overweight, I wouldn't. I be wouldn't. So if I had been more active, I wouldn't be overweight, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Number three, if I've been more ambitious, gotten I have good promotion. I could have. I could have gotten a promotion. Gotten a promotion. Got a gotten a promotion. Good. If I had studied harder in school, learned I a lot more I have could. I could have learned a lot more. A lot more. A lot more. A lot more. If yeah. I've saved money, broke now, I'd be as I would as I. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be what? as I am now. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. Do you understand what broke is? Uh, quebrado. 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 Yeah, but in this case, it's an expression. I am broke as I have no money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Quebrado. <laughs> I'm broke, yes. I'm broke. But in Spanish, we say estoy lavado, right? <laughs> acabado. I'm clean. Yeah, I'm acabado. <laughs> All right, yeah. That's so the last thing, man. Yes. 
leí uno que decía, estoy tan pobre que si mi mujer me deja con otro, me voy con ellos. <laughs> That was funny. That was That funny. funny. Okay, let's listen to this example. The reduction of have and been. Okay. Hi, to wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Okay. Um... One thing here, I don't recommend you to do that example. Why? Because I recommend you to speak the formal way first and then speak, and then speak informal. Now, I do apologize si lo decían bien, pero muchos yo les oía have. Y aunque decían que están diciendo have, okay, maybe. Pero in my, in my case, yo ya have. And let me tell you why. What happens is that the difference between Spanish and English in the accent, Spanish is from the stomach. English is in the lips. Yeah. Nunca han oído alguien decir my name is. My yes. name. Yes. Ah, uh, my name. Uh, and I tell them no, it's my name. It's impossible to say the M. Name. Name. Yes, but excuse me. I'm sorry, Sandra. I put you on mute because I hear some uh, television or, or something, so, sorry. <laughs> but, but please feel free to speak when you need to speak, no problem. Um, English, we use our lips. Y en español no lo usamos. Sí o no, nosotros decimos vacación. No nos importa si oímos B grande o B pequeña. We don't. Mm -hmm. Vení, vení. Y le voy a dar un ejemplo. Mi apellido es Baltrons. Y hay una gran diferencia de Baltrons a Baltrons. Cuando pido algo a domicilio, siempre me dicen, ¿eh, ¿ve grande o ve pequeño? En inglés nunca me van a preguntar eso. Because it's only my lips. Mm -hmm. So, por eso es que a veces a los que hablamos español nos cuesta pronunciar en inglés porque realmente no somos muy cuidadosos para hablar nuestro propio idioma. Fíjense de hoy en adelante, ya van a ver. Mucho, eh, eh, lo puede ver hasta en los políticos, en los profesionales, en las noticias, que nunca pronunciamos bien ciertas letras. Vos, vos. Vos, um, vos, vos, yes. Esa J al final. Mm -hmm. No, oh, there's, there's, there's much more, like, ¿cuál es un error común que hacemos? Joven, joven. Wow, por eso se llama. Vaca, vaca. Vaca, ajá. Vaca. Mira esa vaca. Ajá. And there's a different, por eso se llama B, la vidental. Porque solo usamos un labio. La vidental y B, la vial. Yes. Ahí está un perfecto ejemplo. Nosotros decimos labio. Eh, decimos labio. Con V. Sí, puede que lo escribamos con B grande, como es, pero lo pronunciamos 
ay mi labio mm. y es labio hasta pronúncelo hasta se van a sonar raros diciéndolo yeah. I listen someone, sometime I listen to a, a person who is uh, American mm -hmm. who said uh, Spanish is too much uh, uh, difícil to, to learn difficult to learn because we have this this uh issue because we we write uh words in another form and we uh, pronounce the words in other form yes but you know what yeah yes and it's true because but in, in pronunciation if you want to pronounce good use your lips the two lips not only one the two because two maybe lips. in spanish you say labio uh, tongue lengua no, that, no that's correct no pero generalmente con b's yeah. or u's hay bastante so but in english use your tongue uh, use your lips oh yeah use your tongue okay now i understand use your tongue and that will finish defining because in spanish we use the stomach. Cupido o cupido. Cupido, cupido, cupido. Pero el, el acento termina viniendo del estómago. In Spanish. In English, you define in your lips. Yes. And that's why many people always say, uh, my name is, my name. And that's an M. It's M. impossible to <clears throat> it's impossible to pronounce the M without closing your mouth. Yes. So I don't recommend you this. I have if I had been the seed, if I've I recommend you to pronounce the correct way first and then use the contractions. Yes. No van a enseñar a alguien a decir hey bicho antes de que no entienda que es hey joven, niño, niña. Right? Cipote. Yeah. Cipote. What is cipote? You will not understand until you understand what is a young man. Yeah. Okay, so so remember if if and sometimes if you cannot pronounce, use syllables. Use syllables like I should have. Mm -hmm. I should have. I should have. have. I should have. I should have. Say it in three and two and one. Yes. Okay. So before we finish, let me. Do you have any questions? Sandra, do you have questions? You no, teacher, thank you. Everything's clear. Everything clear? Cool. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Uh, any questions, class? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Do you want to hear something interesting? Tell us. Okay. Yeah. Origen de palabras. Do you know, please let me finish, okay? Yes. Do you know the word fuck? What? Fuck. Fuck? Yes. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Everybody, yeah, I will explain. To <laughs> Calcetines. Easy. No, not fuck. socks. You no, never heard people not. say, hey, fuck you. F-U-C-K. F U C K, yes. I have heard it. Okay, and I think I think everybody knows the meaning, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, but do you know the origin of that word? No. No. Okay, it's very interesting. Fun until. No, wait, Beto, before you read. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not reading. 
I heard it before, but I no, no, there, there, there are many theories. What is fuck? Because really, it doesn't make sense. Fuck you is like, have sex with yourself? What? <laughs> okay, so back in time, medieval, medieval time, remember how Europe is always in war. All the countries, siempre hubo guerras. Yes. Mm -hmm. So imagine I was married and I was a soldier and I went to fight. I told my wife, by my love, I will go fight for England. Yes. But I never returned. Yeah. Do you understand me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. What happens to my wife? She doesn't know, am I dead? Am I a prisoner? Did I escape? And the problem is that women don't work in that time. So my wife is like, hey, what do I do? I need to continue my life. Yes, but you're married. But you're married. So the woman, my wife, she has to go and anular, cancel her marriage and talk to the king and say, King, I am married. David Baltron says, My husband, he went to war. He never returned. I need to continue my life. Okay. So then the king. I don't know. Eso si no se sabe. If it was a certificate, a diploma, or something that said fuck. F U mm. uh, F dot period U period C period K period. Fornication under consentment of king. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, por, acuérdense que eran bien religiosos en ese entonces, y una mujer casada, sex outside is fornication, you know. Entonces, but she had consentment of the king. <laughs> Can you imagine that? De ahí vino la palabra F-U-C-K. Oye, verbo, pero <laughs> realmente it was. <laughs> the origin of that word, it was more interesting. Hay otras versiones, pero esa es la que más... De hecho, estaba en Netflix. The origin of words, sale, fuck. Nicholas Cage. So that's what it meant. Yeah. For, y lo triste es, imagínense, me logro escapar y vuelvo. My love, I'm back. Oh, my God. I'm fuck. Yes, what the? De ahí vino la expresión, what the f Yes, Andrea. Uh, excuse me, uh, do you know uh, what okay means in uh, in a battle or in a war? Zero killed? Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, that's good. Thank you, Sandra. Okay means secret codes, you know, like imagine yeah. I am here, I am a captain here and in Santa Tecla, hey, I send my messenger. Hey, how are you? Y mando mi mensajero, right? And then Santa Tecla, we are okay. And que dice? Okay. Yes. Zero killed. Zero killed. Yes. Do you know where gringo comes from? Es así, many people know. Gringo. Gringo. Verdes, váyanse. Fuera verdes, yeah, gringos. <laughs> yes, those are very, those are very, oh, here's an interesting one, sandwich, do you know where sandwich comes from? No. No. De un duque, el duque de sandwich, that was his name. Oh, yeah. Good. He, he, according to the story, he was, a, he was addicted to table games, you know, like poker, dominoes, whatever. So one day he invited all his friends to a mini, mini casino in his mansion. Oh. And, um, it was time to eat. 
but the game was good. They did not want to stop because the game was good. So he told his servants, look, we will eat here. But, oh my God, what? I don't know. Put bread and the meat inside the bread, the ham. What? Yes. So then they put the ham or the meat inside the bread and they serve that to everybody. So everybody oh. was eating and playing and, and hey, this, this is a good idea. <laughs> and that's, that's where the word sandwich, because that was his name. The Duque the Sandwich. Very good. Iguala, el, el, este sí era chistoso, el, ¿cómo se llaman esos suéteres? Cardigan. The cardigans. Okay, the cardigans are sweaters with buttons. A cardigan is a sweater, but it's a sweater with buttons, con botones. Because normally, mm -hmm. sweaters, you pull, correct? Yes. And the story was que había un duque que era un poco afeminado, dicen, Oops. y no le gustaba ordenarse el pelo. When he pulled, he was the cardigan. Entonces mm. le dijo a su, you know, hey, make the sweaters with buttons. Ahora, esa parte feminina, no sé, pero era mucho más fácil el botón. It was a good idea. So that, that's, that's the word cardigan. Oh, that's why. Yes. Normally, the, the majority of words like that, they come, they come from, there, there has to be a story. Like hamburger. Yes. <laughs> like hamburger, you know, hamburger comes from Hamburg, Germany. The story is that people saw them eran bien um, araganes, and they <laughs> they cooked the meat in the boat in the motor in the engine because it was hot the grill, and they put the meat in the bread. Like, Cuando venían al, al dock, al puerto, that was a Hamburg, hamburgers. Y obviamente vinieron los, like, McDonald's brothers, and then they start putting, hey, tomato, hey, I got all around. But, you know. I'm so, sorry, teacher. I, I've yes. got to leave because uh, I have to go with my husband to to make a travel right now. No, I understand. I, I have to go too, everybody. <laughs> uh, I will see you Monday. Thank you. See you Por Monday. favor. Good night. Good night. Have a great one thing, weekend. One thing, no, no, espero, espero no se hayan ofendido con la palabra que les enseñé. Okay. No, no, no. No worry about it. No worry. 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 No it was yeah, general, general culture, culture. yes. Yeah, true. General. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you Monday. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you Monday. Good night.